uh, here's everything I got today. Uh, this represents $207 in spending by me. I'm just going to go through this stuff quick. Um, here's the first thing I got. Let's see if you can see it. Basically, it's just a big old piece of artwork. It's a pen and uh, ink on uh, on board, paper, drawing, and it's um, the sh you see shadows in it. But basically, it's just abstract art. It's like funky stuff. It's pop art. You know, a lot of cartoonish figures. Um, a guy playing the guitar, just all randomly organized. Um, there's a little police officer there. <laughs> just fun. Look, there's like an, a Mickey, uh, a guy playing the drums with a bug by his head. And I like art like this. I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to hang on to it for a while, look at it, appreciate it, and then probably sell it. Some nudity. Anyway, getting past that. Um, the other stuff I bought today was uh, I bought a jacket, 10 bucks. I kind of like it. Um, Bookend comes in handy for uh, my video game stuff, two bucks. This is just for organizing stuff. Um, I'll get to that in a second. Uh, we bought a fair amount of jewelry today, uh, some older and some new stuff. Here's the older stuff I got, and I think I paid like, uh, I think I paid 35 for this stuff. Yeah, um, but we bought this at an estate sale, and it includes some silver. Like this here, this cameo silver, I believe the chain is silver. Um, it's kind of a Wedgwood looky th looking type ceramic, but it's not. Um, this is just a fun, colorful enamel butterfly from the 70s. This is pretty nice. Uh, this is filigree, silver, and enamel, and it's marked silver on the back. So that's a very old piece, um, probably Victorian. Um, then I got this. This is a little silver, again, picture frame. So this stuff that I'm pointing to now uh, was all $35. It was a pretty good deal. This is newer, but nice. Um, Here's a pretty nice uh, amber ring in silver. It has kind of a Danish modern look. Uh, it's stamped silver on it. Uh, this is just a pen. We're going to put stuff on it and just a necklace for charm. So, so we paid 35 for that stuff. Um, then we went to another sale, and we found a bunch of stuff that was new. They were selling this stuff for um, 3 for $10. Um, and it's, like I said, it's all new stuff. It's by designers Etienne Ag Etienne Agnier, Ag Agnier or whatever. Um, some of it's by... Uh, Jessica Simpson, and uh, what are the other ones? Uh, BBC Generation. New stuff, but at that price, it's like $3 a piece. We can sell stuff like this for $8 to $15. Like Just some nice jewelry. Yeah, this is like a, a collar necklace. This multi-strand. They like multi-strands. Here's a gold tone. A lot of this stuff will go around Christmas. Um, here's um, some another just loop hoop. Check out the knot on this. Uh, pretty cool. And then just nice, nice silver, sparkly stuff. Nothing too, too really special here. We actually got a couple of sets, um, and this is pretty neat. Got crystals and stuff. And here's another dangle. And then we got these nice chunky bracelets. Uh, they're pretty cool. And um, so anyway, we bought all this stuff. It came to seventy dollars. And the lady's like, "Oh, here, you want some stuff you can have for free?" So she threw this in. Um, and these are just odds and ends. You know, these are kind of neat bow rings and um, some bracelets and. I don't know, just some more stuff. This is Amethyst. So basically, uh, we wound up getting about 37 pieces for $70. Uh, it comes to 2 bucks a piece. Um, this will be good for us. We'll make good money on it. Um, this. I was happy when I bought this for $2. This is probably Italian, possibly German, um, mid-century modern art pottery. Got kind of an eyeball design. Um, but then I found a teeny little flea bite on it. So... That's over here, I think, somewhere. Anyway, that hurts the value. I have to decide what to do with it now, whether it's eBay. Um, got some cables. I use these. I use these for um, Nintendo systems, and uh, this is for a PlayStation 2. These always come in handy. Um, paid like two bucks, a dollar. I don't know why. Actually, they threw this in the bag. I didn't want it. Um, here's something I don't always buy. Um, software. Uh, I usually pass up most sof software. It's not good, especially software games. Um, but... There is some software which can be worth a lot of money on eBay, and uh, usually Adobe is, uh, they make expensive software. Um, Photoshop and other ones can be worth $50 and up. Normally software can be worth, say, like $20, Adobe maybe at least $20 to $100, you know. But uh, anyway, let me just go through. i got to check this stuff out. These two things were the wrong software. I kind of took a bundle of stuff. I spent $70 on everything. So, uh, but for $70, I got a Adobe Premiere 5.1 new version. Not sure what it's worth, but I'm taking a chance. Um, I got Adobe Premiere 5.0, uh, Adobe Premiere 6.0. Then I got um, 
they say these some of these are upgrades, but I think it's upgrade if you have Adobe Photoshop. You need Photoshop to use any of this stuff. Anyway, Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 2. Um, sometimes you can find original prices on the stuff, but it's, you know, stuff like this doesn't sell cheap. Um, Adobe InDesign C3. Uh, Adobe Acro Acrobat 9.0 9 Pro. Adobe InDesign C4. See, and I, I paid like $5 for this stuff. Um, and it says upgrade, but like I said, I think it's upgrade if you have Adobe Photoshop. Then I got a Adobe Creative Suite 4. I actually thought I had gotten Adobe Photoshop uh, CS um, 3 or something like that, but I didn't. You know, I, that, my mistake. I was kind of in a rush. Um, I got this. This is Rosetta Stone uh, Latin uh, Level 1. This software is very expensive. Here's an original price, uh, 229 I'm going to check it on eBay. I checked this. It's complete. See what's in there. Um, see what happens. Then we got some training stuff. Um, I thought I had gotten a Photoshop CS. So I got a Photoshop CS. Uh, learn by video. Eight bucks. I don't know. It, it, that might be the stuff that I spent money on foolishly. Uh, it might be worth money on eBay. I don't, I, you know, I'm not sure. Then I got a CS4 Classroom in a Book. I got an Adobe Acrobat uh, 9 Classroom in a Book. Then a uh, Manga for Dummies. Uh, my kid likes manga. And then I got another in instructional book on CS4. Um, anyway, like I was saying, uh, most software isn't worth much, but usually when you see Adobe, it's worth money. I've just got to check this stuff out. I, I'm pretty sure I, I didn't do bad for $70 on that stuff. And um, otherwise, that's everything I got today.